is Lily Galsedica. I am a Fulbright National Geographic Scholar for 2017-2018, and I came to Taiwan to study Taiwan's waste management system, plastics industry, and circular economy initiatives. What I've spent the last nine months doing is traveling across Taiwan from north to south, east to west, to understand a few key points. One, to understand Taiwan's waste management system. Um, Taiwan is known to being one of the closest places in the world to achieving circular economy, and that starts first and foremost with a recycling emphasis and a strong waste management system. So I wanted to see with my own eyes and using film and digital media to document Taiwan's waste management system. The second part has to do with Taiwan's plastic supply chain. So I really like Taiwanese bubble tea. And I grew up in California where we have many, many Taiwanese tea shops. Unfortunately, however, the tea uh, is carried in plastic cups and plastic straws. These are Taiwanese products that come to uh, American markets and then we use them and throw them away in American trash cans. These ultimately end up going into American landfills and oceans. Um, so it's a global problem. So I wanted to understand the plastic supply chain. And the third part is to understand people's perceptions of trash and waste. What are the incredible initiatives that are being driven by people here on Taiwan that are doing with circular economy, meaning building a full zero waste system? What are some of the relationships people have to waste? Is there something special about this place, or perhaps not so special, that people think when they interact with waste, when they generate it, and when they try and reuse it? Taipei City is one of the world's geniuses of recycling. I was able to learn about this system and then create a series of infographics with very simple pictures and very simple text to teach people basic things like wash your recyclables before you recycle them away. Throwing away tainted things will taint the entire waste stream so they can't be recycled. You can't recycle your coffee cup because the outside is paper but the inside has plastic so you have to separate those two materials. So I did a series of infographics. I did a 12-day zero plastic waste video challenge series where I went across the urban jungles of North and South Taiwan to try and demonstrate if it's possible to use and not use plastic in your life. We did a, a music video where I collected sounds from Taipei's waste management system and then put it into a song that was produced by my friend in the Bay Area. And then we filmed Taipei dancers all across Taipei to try and get people to rethink the way they perceive waste. Right now it's perceived as something disposable, something dirty, something unclean. But the reality is, is waste is just a misallocated resource. So if we can get people to see it in a different way using music or dance or infographics um, or roadmaps, then we can be able to transform people's relationships with it and then make our world a better place. I realized that learning a language takes time and patience, not only with the process, but with finding your own voice in a new language. So I uh, had a lot of moments when I was alone and a lot of moments when I felt like I couldn't express myself. And dancing came to help too because you can go like this and people will understand the vibe you're trying to give out. But uh, being able to hold an intellectual conversation about your purpose, about your dreams, about your life, about your hardships uh, is challenging. So I felt alone in that in a lot of ways but I knew that that's what I needed to experience and that's what I needed to feel if I wanted to understand all these things. And that was why I am here. And the rewards of being able to speak Chinese to Taiwanese people are incredible. They're infinite. It just opens up a world. Because Taiwanese society is full with multiple, multiple layers. If you stick with English, you're only gonna stay here. You'll never understand about all the complexities and nuances and beautiful things that are happening that if you're able to dive deep and understand because I've visited plastics factories here in Taiwan that they're owned by mothers and fathers who are using this, their small garages, their warehouses to make money to raise their family, to send their kids to school. So it's not as easy as you would seem. There are real people whose relationships are embedded in the supply chain. There are real people whose livelihoods do depend on the production of this material. So it's not black and white. It's not good versus evil. It's more complicated than that. Taiwan has allowed me to see that, understand that, and realize that my work is not yet done, and that the journey has to continue.